Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain how to test the generator loads. In a simple way that how to check the generator loads and how to perform the generator load testing procedure which is the best method to check the generator loads without having many utility loads okay before the starting the video i have small request to all of you if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos thank you first of all if you are working on generator or you are business of doing the generator and you are mechanic of the generator or you are our electrician of the generator and you need to know to test the generator load how much our generator carries the load actually in the real first the best method is the generator load testing have a, a separate load testing bank somebody call load bank okay this load bank have a lot of heaters coils heated coils and separate separate coils have separate separate buttons for the turning on and off if you have for example 15 kilowatt of generator and you want to check it how much this take carry load actually in the reality and what's the behavior when we put the load on generator you cannot check and inspect the generator without any load because the main thing is load if you put the load on generator then you check it a lot of blow by misfired vibration heating and smoke dirty emission you check everything with the putting load on generator okay that's the main and basic procedure of of the generator testing okay first is the best thing of generator load bank take the generator load bank put on 15 kilowatt generator maximum 13 kilowatt load on generator check the behavior of generator check the sound of check the emission of check the temperature and check the engine oil pressure you can check everything with the putting load up on generator without load not you finding out any problem related in the engine or some problem in the engine you cannot understand without having any load load is very important to checking to check up the generator okay everybody not have the disk load bank because this is a very costly and maximum the 5 kW load bank have uh, 35,000 of dollars not everybody can buy this for the testing load banks we have discovered is described another new methods samples you can check every generator with the only you you spend uh, 500 rupees okay or ten dollars or in the indian 50 rupees okay how the another methods to check the generator loads takes me to draw the simple diagram first of all we here teach you the three phase generator then the single phase okay for example, this is our this is our generator. Our generator have four wire, three phase and one neutral. 
Okay. Now we now need neutral wire in the load testing procedure. Okay. Take the plastic drum. Okay. Take one the plastic drum. Not any metal or brass or any metal not. It's danger. Okay. Only the plastic drum is applicable for the load testing procedure. Take some the wooden bottle. Okay. Make some three metal rods. Yeah. Not, not end with the bolt. Like this. Separate from each other. Okay. Here is your circuit breaker, one face, two face and three face. Okay. After that, out the load from the circuit breaker. Tight with the nut and bolt is three bytes. Okay. Put this load wing. This is the simple load wing. Local load wing. Put this load wing in the water block like this. Fill the water in the drum. maximum to the this part okay like this this is for example your drum and this is your load bank this is your generator this is the water now you can touch this wooden bar not anything please Put before this local by local crafted road wing in the drum. Start your generator on the circuit breaker. This time that's not carrying any load. Okay. This is all three phase wires. Okay. Take a salt. The generator now is running. Put a little, 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 little amount of salt in the inside the drum. Little, little. Now the generator start carrying the load. Put your kilometer in this wire and check the ampere. Output ampere ready. For example, this is a hundred kilowatt of generator. The generator load key hundred kilowatt of generator. Take one sixty ampere load per face on this face, on this face, on this face. If the load is reached to the 30 amperes, put some more salt like a first 60 spoon, then again 60 spoon, then again 60 spoon in the water. The generator start carrying the load. Now the generator load is reached to the 60 amps. Then put 60 spoon of sun in the drum and check the generator carrying the load. The load is going up 
when reached to the 150 or 140 ampere, stop the putting the salt and the water and check the load now. This testing procedure only for the 5 to 10 minutes maximum, not for the too long times. Okay, because the water getting heat up and the heat water is the uh, resistance of the salt is is unlimited and that's the problem if you check for the long time it's only for the short time okay if your generator is not getting load or problem fuel injection problem or actuator problem you can replace the water again this procedure and just for five minutes and then again if your problem is not verify again replace the water and put some another salt water, salt inside the drum water and then put load again if water getting too heat up and boiling condition stop the generator replace the water and put again this the salt in the drum and check the in this procedure in this way okay this is the proper testing of the generator load testing okay if the load testing procedure is finish our water getting too heat up you you want to replace the water now and check it again for 5 to 8 10 minutes then off the circuit breaker and then stop the generator and remove the slow bin from the drum replace the water make sure the ground is wet not dry or water some inside the drum okay uh, bottom of the drum on the ground then again you need to check further for five to eight minutes the generator replace the water then put the load wing in the inside the drum uh, put some salt in the drum and start the generator on the breaker take your multimeter in not the reading and further gradually you put uh, salt water salt in the water and check the load wing and load test okay now we are going to explain the single phase generator load testing procedure For example, this is our 5 kilowatt generator, single phase. This is our generator, for example. The generator outlet have two wires. One is neutral, one is 110 or 220. Take the small basket of fill from the water. This wire, you need to remove the insulation of, of the head wire maximum half feet remove this insulation from the wire of both then now you need to here you put some the wooden stick there because the wire not touch to the each other let's make a short circuit and damage the alternator put inside in the water like this this is our wooden stick and this is our water in the basket and put some salt in water now start the generator and on the circuit breaker and take your multimeter and put this each of each from this wire and check the check the multimeter on the ends and gradually slowly drop the load bank inside the basket like this first and this position then after one minute and this position then after minute to the last ending position check the generator behavior and check the generator load 
Now the water is getting too heat. Stop the generator. Stop the circuit breaker and then stop the generator. Remove this of the system. This is the complete testing of the generator load testing with the simple methods. So I hopefully you understand. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time all and goodbye. Assalamu